Hello and welcome to Death Mute Studio. In this knee-jerk spoiler-free review, I'm going to be talking about The Batman, which is currently available to watch in theatres. Depending on when you watch this review. Let's have it. When the Riddler, a sadistic serial killer, begins murdering key political figures in Gotham, Batman is forced to investigate the city's hidden corruption and question his family's involvement. When the first trailer for the Batman was released, it was clear, stylistically, it was going to take influence from David Fincher, specifically Seven and Zodiac, which I was fully on board with because we've not seen a Batman film like that before, essentially. We've had the dark industrial gothica of Tim Burton, the camp extravaganza of Joel Schumacher, the grand operatic realism of Christopher Nolan, and the hyper-masculinity of Zack. Why did you say that name, Snyder? The Batman is a character that thrives from change and reimagining. Although the character's motives and backstory is ever present through all these films, the character is easily adaptable in a wide range of styles and themes, which I love because Batman will essentially never become stale. But it can also be a difficult task to keep Batman slash Bruce Wayne interesting and, and new because of the amount of Batman films that have been released. You can spot similarities with other Batman films before it, but that's to be expected as the creators seem to take influence from a lot of the same source material like The Long Halloween and Batman Year One, which if I'm not mistaken, Christopher Nolan's films also did. I think director Matt Reeves has done an excellent job giving us something different. The Batman isn't your typical big budget comic book film with with an abundance of grand, borderline, superhuman set pieces. It's a slow-burning, neo-noir detective story, which is strange that we've never seen much of the detective aspect of Batman before, as he is famously known as the world's greatest detective. The film has the confidence to take its time, building intrigue and suspense, and when it is time to see a big Hollywood set piece, it, it doesn't fail, for the most part anyway. The Batmobile chase scene in particular was, was spectacular to watch. That's not to say the Batman doesn't have its issues, although I respect the film's confidence in taking its time, I did feel that the film's runtime was painstaking towards the end. I definitely think knocking 30 minutes from its runtime would have helped its pace, and the final act seemed tacked on, as if the studio wanted a more grandiose set piece to finish off to appease fans that were expecting a more typical Hollywood film. At just under three hours long, I did think the film overstayed its welcome, similar to how Lord of the Rings Return of the King ended, but I did think the cast were excellent. Robert Pattinson played Bruce Wayne as someone who essentially despises himself to an extent that he hates not being Batman. Almost as if Bruce Wayne is an alter ego of Batman and not the other way around. Bruce Wayne isn't a charming billionaire playboy in this film, he's he's a miserable recluse. I thought that was an interesting take and a solid performance. Colin Farrell was a joy to watch. Personally, I love it when an actor becomes unrecognisable, and I think this is the best case of that since since Glenn Close in Hook. <laughs> the boo box. No, 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 the boo box. No! Yeah. Zoe Kravitz, who I'm not a massive fan of, was great as Catwoman. I've got zero gripes with her performance. The whole cast was stacked with incredible character actors such as Jeffrey Wright, John Turturro, Andy Serkis, Paul Dano, Peter Sarsgaard, Alex Fairns, and Con O'Neill, which gives the film and its supporting cast a lot of weight. All in all, I really enjoyed the Batman. It's the most mature Batman film in terms of tone and it's it's great to see a massive tentpole film do a, a modern take on noir. So if you've watched The Batman, what do you think? Do you agree with my initial thoughts? Let me know on social media and the comment section below. If you could do me a solid by liking the video and subscribing to the channel, I will love you long time. But most importantly, thanks for watching. Ta-da.